was selected in order to represent Africa. My dream became true. It gave the chance of recognition to those that are not recognized. I'm so tired when I see fake as well. Because now all Arabs are here. But think one by one. Then we can think for a second. This has been a journey of learning, of ongoing learning. REED started in 2004 as a joint effort between the United States Agency for International Development and the American University in Cairo. USA created the LEAD program in 2004 as a way to give disadvantaged students an opportunity to attend AUC. So since then, one female and one male from every governor in each year has attended AUC. The vision was to provide these students with the opportunity to benefit from liberal arts education at AUC and receive trainings and support to become change agents in their communities. الهدف بتاع المشروع كله إتاحة الفن فكرة إنك تبقى بتعرض في الشارع يعني بتطلع الفنون المختلفة من جوا المسارح والجاليريات والحاجات للشارع وبالتالي المواطن عادي اللي ماشي في الشارع يقدر يتفرج عليها ويستمتع بيها ويبتدي يتزوق أنا شايفة إن المحافظات مش واخدة أي حقها في الفن خالص لأنه دايما الحاجات دي متركزة في القاهرة فلما لما الحاجات دي بتيجي للمحافظات من هادوميات يعني دي أكيد حاجة كويسة جدا ديديكيتد للشغل مهتمية بالتفاصيل دقوبة مكتهدة مخلصة بتؤمن بالقضية اللي احنا بنتكلم فيها بنشتغل فيها فيعني ريم شي از جريت كوليج يعني كل الشغل لما بينجح بينجح عشان ريم وراه يعني في كتير من من اللي بيعرفوها ومن من الاصحاب ومن الاهل ومن المعارف ومن كل بي بيشوفوها نموذج كويس اي بيليف ان ذا باور اوف ارت I also got really encouraged to work, to work with Mahatot and to uh, see how art influence lives and how art can change. So you get excited when there was a opera that didn't have a very nice scene. And the people who are in the street and the women 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 who are in the our lead students and graduates have proved beyond doubt that when given the chance, the proper support, uh, young, excelling, hardworking students from different Egyptian governorates and unprivileged areas can make a difference. They can learn and they can lead uh, change efforts within their communities. نزلنا السوق واشترينا خرفان واشترينا ماعز اشترينا خمس خرفان ذكور نسمينهم والخمسة الماعز نتايات ننتج منهم النتج الصغير I'm from Cairo, not from Taos, uh, Egypt uh, Yet uh, one of my dreams since uh, I joined LEED I think that I wanted to work on ground and uh, one of the lead uh, components in the beginning was actually going around all the governed rates of Egypt uh, to figure out and discover their challenges, uh, economic and social uh, issues. Uh, so during this experience, I got to visit everywhere and to like uh, meet people and uh, saw their challenges and actually feel their needs. At that moment, I decided that I want to help them one day uh, to get out of the bubble, to get out of Cairo bubble. Uh, one of the projects uh, I was working on uh, since October 2015 is a project called Copper Dakhlat. The main purpose of it uh, is to uh, empower individuals uh, in those villages and those poor villages in order to carry uh, out their own businesses and do their own project. I went through like to walk on the streets of the villages in order to know how we can reach them. Uh, some of the ways I figured out I can use in the beginning, it was like drawing on the walls, uh, using uh, tuk-tuk like the small cars, doing some announcements, uh, public announcements, using the mic and going all over the villages it's themselves. I was going all around, visiting them, trying to convince them with our project and asking them actually to gather 
uh, the citizens and the people of the villages in order to meet with me and to talk to them about the project in the, itself. برضه بسعر مش هنعلي قوي عشان يكون سعر محدود برضه يكون في امكانيات الجميع يشتري لاما از اكشلي ان انيشيتر شي كان انيشيت ثينجز اند ذن شي كان اتشيف ذيم شي اكشلي هاز ذا كوراج وين شي تيكس ان انيشيتيف تو تو تيل ايفري بودي وات دي كان دو ان ذيس انيشيتيف اند وات از ذا رول اوف ايفري بودي ايجيبشن جوفرنريتس ان جنرال لاك Um, services and infrastructure and opportunities and part of the program's vision was to uh, empower these communities through empowering students from the communities themselves. <laughs> my life and changed many of the students' lives. So I thought, yeah, this was the entry point. This was how I sold the idea to the youth here in Ismaili. Um, over the time when we started Alashani Kabaladi, it was more concerned about sustainable development. We did around 30 micro projects. We gave loans. Um, we tried to teach uh, the beneficiaries how to manage their projects, how to avoid Defecting, how to pay installments um, on time, um, and we gave them trainings on business planning, uh, entrepreneurship, soft skills, marketing, communication skills, all we thought that they would need in the process. This is the main milestone uh, of our work here in Ismailia and Bahtini. فتحت المشروع وعلمت العيال وكويس يعني ما فيهوش حاجه فادني في كل حاجه جددت ما كانش عنده الطلبات دي كلها جددت طلباته وجددت وبدل حاجه بتخلص بجيب غيرها يعني كويس المشروع مش وحش مع عبد الله بصراحه يعني اي حد من اصحابنا يعني بقى بيحتاج يعمل سي في بقى بيروح له بقى بيحتاج يعمل بروبوزل بيقدم في اي منحه يقدم في جامعه بقى يعني عبد الله بقى خلاص هو معروف هو اكتر واحد بيساعد في الحاجات دي اكتر واحد فاهم فيها We did not expect our students to become change agents or leaders in their communities with just attending training courses or um, talking about empowerment. I think what we did is that we created the proper environment for them to develop these skills. Being part of the LEAD program and uh, involved in the LEAD activities has improved my leadership skills and improved me with critical thinking which helped me a lot in my work and made me excel on it to the extent that my achievements in solving disputes in many of the cases affecting public opinion have been published in newspapers. The program that we took was to make it more successful and more successful. We took all the issues and more and more. He has a good view for the future. He is not a leader for us. He is a leader for us. He is a leader for us. In addition, the LEAP program has enhanced my social involvement. It gave me the opportunity to practice the social activities held by the AUC. For example, I was a member in the AYB club on AUC, Alashani Kabaladi, and I was part of the research and development committee. Me and the members of the committee used to go to the poor districts in Cairo, meet the needy people, record their needs, and put strategies that, that aim to enhance the life conditions of them. AUC provided our students with the opportunity to think critically, to think outside of the box. We took the initiative to enhance the service and take the lead to serve AUC community with, uh, with higher quality and more healthy food. We have a company with more than 70 employees and we have more than, we started with one place, the American University in Cairo in the 5th district and now we have the American University in Cairo in the 5th district and the British University in Egypt, uh, the food court and we have also uh, the main restaurant and the El Zuhur uh, sporting club in the 5th district and we have another line, uh, Tarwiya Catering which is specialized in catering for individuals and uh, corporates. Um, including uh, managing the conferences, events, weddings, uh, and every related stuff uh, uh, to the food service. 
Our current mode of operation and programs have changed a lot throughout the years as students um, grew and became more aware of their needs and um, more expressive of these needs as well. We have changed a lot what we used to do. So we have a variety of activities to help students develop their leadership skills. One major component of the program is to offer the students an opportunity to study in an American university abroad. Students get to apply all the skills and knowledge they learn throughout the years in an annual conference. In this conference, they work together, they work in teams, they choose an issue that is problematic in the Egyptian community, they decide collectively how to solve this problem, they reach out to different universities, to young persons from multiple governorates to work together on finding a solution to this problem. At my first year uh, here in AUC, the lead conference was about developing education, edu the education system in Egypt, and we got uh, the first place in this conference. We contacted one of the managers, the school managers uh, that attended the, the closing of the ceremony. In numbers, uh, we trained uh, over 40 uh, teachers uh, from primary, preparatory and secondary schools uh, and also we could uh, make uh, great partnerships with great institutions like uh, in Jazz Egypt. I had a chance um, and the opportunity to become the, um, the last chairperson for the last um, lead organized conference. It was uh, very special this uh, year because it was uh, tackling a very uh, hot topic which is breast cancer. Um, it was very interesting because we had it organized in um, October, which is uh, the International uh, Month for Breast Cancer Awareness. And um, we had the opportunity to bring uh, together people from different places in uh, Egypt. So it was a bit uh, tough, but it was very interesting and very fruitful at the very end of the conference. Uh, when we had people sharing their stories, it was very inspiring. So um, I just had the honor to work on uh, such an event. They really understand the connection between the community and the studies and they really engage themselves deeply in any marginalized community, bonding with the people, understanding the problems of the place. They serve as marvelous facilitators in these landscapes. All of my students are really delightful people, but the lead students have a kind of integrity and character and motivation and ambition that pushes them further uh, in some cases than the other students. They, they are. Um, uh, energized by a kind of motivation. They really desire success in a, in a very special way and they're, they're wonderful people. They have the most lovely personalities. People know who lead scholars are. We hear that employers ask for lead students. When I'm at events, people come up and introduce themselves to me as lead alumni. We seek their input when we're designing our new education strategy. Um, I was fortunate to speak at one of the amazing student-led conferences that they organized in October. I also love to talk to lead students when I meet them. There's one woman who's studying at Oxford. She's getting a PhD. Every time I see her, I think that perhaps she should be in my position. She's so smart and such a bright light for the future of Egypt. Currently, I'm doing my PhD in social policy at the University of Oxford. In 2012, I headed the conference Mission E on Education, where I led a team of 120 members from 18 public and private universities from six government rates. The main objective of the conference was to improve the quality of education in primary schools in Egypt. When I applied for the scholarship in order to do my PhD, I was the only student representing Africa. They actually selected me because of the conference. Lead students and alumni tell us that they have influenced uh, many family, family members and friends and neighbors. Some of our students were the first among their uh, families to uh, pursue higher education. These students, uh, with their success and uh, their stories, when they went back to their villages and they told their story to their families and to their cousins and friends, they influenced those uh, students uh, to pursue higher education and they also had an impact on the parents to accept to let go of their uh, children, especially girls in some of the villages. When I was 15, uh, Mina, he's one of the lead students. Uh, he is also from Al Qusayya, a suit. He came and gives us uh, a lecture about the political system in Egypt. This lecture makes me think to come to AUC and study economics and political science like Mina. I gave up medicine school and came here to AUC to study economics. All the lead students helped me to, to achieve this. 
to, to come here to ASC and to find my comfort zone with them because they are from the same culture I am from. Mina, how are you? How's it going? Hello, Sadaf, how are you doing? I'm fine, alhamdulillah, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, let me, uh, as I'm speaking now from Beijing, allow me to uh, greet you in Chinese. Ni hao. Wow, ni <laughs> hao. Uh, I'm, currently, uh, I'm currently working for the Egyptian Embassy in Beijing, and uh, I have been here for the past uh, five to six months, and that's why I'm currently, uh, I'm currently speaking to you from Beijing. Uh, for, for me, a TLE program has helped me understand that uh, education and learning is not, is, not, is not a phase in our life, it's a lifetime process. Uh, there are many values that we have acquired throughout our time in lead that we really appreciate how to really appreciate diversity, how to experience leadership, and how to how to encourage uh, other people around us to, to be more tolerant and how they are dealing differences and diversity. Uh, I would like to also highlight that uh, some moments in our life we take for granted. And one of these moments is for me when I'm attending a multilateral uh, event in China or elsewhere, and uh, I'm sitting behind the black end of Egypt. A big part of our students' success and development can be attributed actually to the challenges that they have been facing throughout the years as they transitioned from their quiet, warm neighborhoods into busy Cairo, into the socio-economically different ASC, uh, many students at the beginning find di found difficulty actually adapting to that. Especially with the, with the language, especially with the, the pronunciation, they were at the beginning far more um, uh, reluctant to speak out and students, ASCs, were, were um, a little bit in this state of not understanding what's, what's with them. So one of the obstacles I faced when I first came into AUC was to get used into the liberal education system, especially that I came from governmental school. Another challenge that I faced when I came into AUC was living away from my family for the first time. I guess there, there are many, many challenges. The first one is to be in a social life or a society like the American University where all the too much rich people are there. And I'm not saying that we're we're, but we're from different societies, so the cultural differences between us and them is not that easy to be, um, I mean, tackle or to, to be able to live in that society is not easy. One of the main challenges, I think, was um, what to say to my teachers who taught me at school. They were expecting that I join medicine or pharmacy school. So uh, maybe people's expectations were a bit different from what I had in mind for myself. So that was a bit challenging uh, during my study. And uh, I'm trying now to, to let people know that there are other options that, that they should explore. What I do is to facilitate uh, the discussion where we can come up with the action plan to overcome this challenge. I refer them to the counseling office if needed, or I pair them up with other older students or experienced students um, who can help them overcome this challenge. A lot of the times they realized that there were very common challenges and common issues that the Egyptian society faced, and they were able to come together to maybe present solutions uh, to, these, uh, to these issues and to these challenges. It's a journey with all its chapters, whether it's uh, difficulties, uh, hard times, uh, conflicts. It's a tough journey. Yet, I admit it's a rewarding one. If we face any trouble outside even, something I would say in the street or anything, we have been calling them to support us, to help us, and they have been really a great help of us. So thinking that all these things would have been almost impossible without the support of the LEAD program and the USAID, I would like to thank them and tell them that I really appreciate the chance that I was given and thank you so much. Thank you for enlightening my future by providing me with excellent opportunity for education and social skills which will enable me to achieve my dream in serving the Egyptian society by maintaining justice 
and helping people get the rights, not only people within my city, Hurghada, but people from all over Egypt. I would like to thank you for the initiative. I would like to thank you for the patience, for the efforts, for all what you have been doing for us in order to be in this place one day. Thank you for all what you did and thank you for uh, being always uh, in our back. Despite all challenges, our lead students and graduates proved that when given the chance, young, excelling, hardworking Egyptian students can succeed, can excel, can compete, and can lead change efforts within their communities. We couldn't be more pleased with our partnership um, with AEC in this program over, over the past decade. This undergraduate scholarship has changed the lives of those Egyptian students, and they have been in turn changing their communities. Mm -hmm.